Hey, um, Jordan was sharing, uh, sharing something with me this morning. Um, our Kingsway College reconvened after the holidays. Uh, yesterday with food ministry, and today was their first day back in class. Can we thank the Lord for all of our incredible Kingsway College students? Woo-hoo! And you were sharing with me some things the Lord spoke to you, even during class, that I feel like it's gonna be encouraging to everybody else. Yeah. Um, so we do, on Wednesdays, we have Worship in the Word. Uh, Pastor Jeff and Pastor Suzanne lead it. And we just get time to get out our journals and journal um, anything that we feel like the Lord is saying or we can just worship. And um, today, I was journaling a few different things and spending time in worship. And I just heard the Lord say, I'm trying to learn to be more sensitive to hearing his voice. And um, because I used to think I couldn't hear very well, like I was a feeler, but I couldn't hear audible words or things like that. And that's really something since being at Kingsway, but especially the college, learning that we can all hear his voice. Um, We can all see him. He's always talking. He's always um, speaking to us. So um, I heard the word over And I wrote it in my journal, like I scribbled it upside down, actually. I don't know what I was doing. Um, (laughs) I had to flip it around and write. Um, But I heard the word over, so I opened my Bible, and I felt like I was supposed to go to Ecclesiastes. And so I opened just to the first chapter, and I was like scanning through, and I was looking for the word over. I was like, I know there's a verse right here. He told me it's right here. And then all of a sudden, my eyes were drawn to Ecclesiastes 1.9, and it says, what has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. And I saw under, and I was like, oh, you said over, but you want, you're wanting me to concentrate on the word under. Um, and then I saw down here on verse... Yeah, yeah, so and I, so I thought I was looking for the word over, and then I was like, well, maybe I heard wrong, but then it's like the Lord highlighted the word under to me, so I saw that verse, um, and everyone kind of knows that verse, and we say that a lot, nothing new under the sun, um, and then I skipped down to verse 14, and it says, I have seen all the things that are done under the sun, and have found everything to be futile in a pursuit of the wind, and I felt like, you know, I was looking at it, and I was like, Lord, okay, what are you saying new that I haven't seen in that verse before? Because I've heard that so much. And I felt like the Lord was, it's really simple, but I just felt like he was telling me, yeah, I didn't say there, there isn't anything new. I said it wasn't under the sun. And he was like, you have to look above it. You know, you have to look into the heavens. And so all the new things are locked in heaven. We think they're locked. I mean, we're, we can unlock them from heaven, you know, and heaven is inside of us. Um, so I just felt like the Lord was kind of giving me new eyes to see that verse instead of just stopping there and saying, there's nothing new under the sun. No, but I'll tell you where it is. It's above the sun. It's in the heavens and it's inside of us. So every time we need something new, if we need a new breakthrough, um, a new revival, a new, a new healing, whatever's new, it may not be new under the sun, but it's in the heavens and the heavens are inside of us. So we just tap into that and know we walk into that and everything we need new, um, we can unlock from that place. Yeah. So. How do you know it says in Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, do not call to mind the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I'll create a way in the wilderness and a river in your desert. In Colossians 3, it says, we set our mind on things above, not things on the earth, that we be hidden with Christ in God. And so what Jordan, I believe what God was speaking to Jordan is if we will set our mind on heavenly things, on that which is eternal and not, what, that, not just that which is temporal, God will give us a divine perspective about what is happening in our life and the lives of those around us to where we can begin to unlock the new and never before seen. Amen. It says this in Psalm chapter eight. When she was sharing with me this morning, I just said, man, I said, I just see Psalm eight when you're saying this. It says, oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth who have set your glory above the heavens. So it's what she was seeing, right? Above, over the sun. Out of the mouths of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength, that's childlike faith, because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. What is one thing that nursing babes and infants do? They trust. I see my little buddy Stetson's in the back. Hallelujah, he's in his little carrier. But a minute ago, Haley had taken him to the nursing mom's room to feed him. And how many of you know, listen, he trusts his mom and his dad, Colin Haley, that when he's hungry, they're gonna feed him. And we can trust God that when we're hungry, He's gonna feed us. When we have a need, not only is he gonna meet it, but he's gonna overcome that need to cause us to be a blessing to others. It goes on to say, 
Not only have you ordained strength because of your enemies, but it says that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? I mean, just think about that. The creator of the universe has both eyes on you. I mean, all, listen, all day long, all he thinks about is each one of us. And every one of you has all of his attention. Think about that. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. We know he's everywhere all the time. But at the same time, I wanna tell you, listen, he is all about you. And it says, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him for you have made him, speaking of man, a little lower than the angels. And get this though, you have crowned him with glory and honor. Say, I'm crowned. With glory and honor. You see, you have a heavenly headpiece. It's glory and it's honor. And it says, you have made him to have dominion over the work of your hands. Now, to understand that dominion is authority. It's the ability to rule and reign in the earth from a heavenly perspective. And what he said here is you have dominion over the work of your hands. Well, to understand that and to understand what it is to be crowned with glory and honor, let's go back to verse one. How excellent is your name in all the earth who have set your glory above the heavens. And so what he's saying is the place of your authority is up there. As we begin to ascend in trust and the way that we ascend, the way we become heavenly minded is not just some sort of spiritual process of ascension. It's not some sort of mystical journey that we can take. Listen, I'm so thankful for all of the invitations of the spirit to grow in different aspects and expressions of the spirit. But I wanna tell you the quickest way to go up is to be willing to go down, to humble ourselves and trust that God will show us what we need to know. And the greatest thing we can do is as we humble our understanding and say, God, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know, just like we said in 2 Chronicles 20 on this past Sunday, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are set on you. All of a sudden in that posture of trust, he begins to lift us higher and we begin to see from heavenly perspective. He begins to crown us with glory, which speaks of being given the ability of God and the authority of God to bring his dominion in the earth. And so I want Jordan to begin to pray for you because I believe that tonight there is gonna be a prophetic unction that is released here that is gonna cause the new and never before seen to come, just begin to erupt in your heart. And I thank, I thank the Lord that there's nothing new under the sun, but we live in heavenly places, amen? Go ahead and stand to your feet if you could. Ephesians 2 says, when we were dead in our trespasses, he made us alive. Not yet, worship team, I haven't got to the offering yet, hallelujah. This is just the exhortation, amen? Just the exhortation, hallelujah. They ready though, hallelujah. I wanna tell you, listen, the realm of God's ability and authority that you're gonna walk in in 2020 is going to trump anything and everything you've seen in times past. In fact, listen, sometimes I think that we've lifted up men of God and women of God as the high standard. And I wanna tell you, listen, it is amazing when God gifts men and graces them, gifts, and, gifts women and men to be used greatly by him for his glory. But I wanna tell you, the most anointed man or woman you've ever seen is not the standard Jesus is. And I don't believe anyone has yet really accomplished or entered into the full manifestation of what God has made available to us through the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of his Holy Spirit. But what if a people here could become so possessed by the desire of God, the fire of God, the nature of God, that we could become those people that live in a raised standard, an elevated existence, not of pride, but of humility and trust to where we can see as God sees and say as God says. Jordan, would you pray for everybody? God, we thank you right now that we are so one with you, God, that we can become so close with you that it's not even any longer follow the leader, but it's oneness. It's oneness that when you step, we step at the same moment because we're walking with your feet, God. We thank you for the thoughts of heaven, God, that we know your thoughts are higher, but your mind is inside of our mind. We have the mind of Christ. So we know that our thoughts and our ways line up with you, God. We thank you that we are one, that we are walking together, God. We thank you for new. We thank you for glory to glory, God, that we are walking in the never before seen, God, that this year is going to blow our minds, God. It's gonna be incredible, amazing. And just like Pastor Jason said Sunday, it's also filled with never agains. There's things that we've walked through that we will never step in again, God. It is things that we have never seen and things that we will never have to walk through again, God. It's new, it's beautiful, it's holy, God. Open up our capacity to see you in a new way, God. Things we never saw before, God, let us be able to see it. Open our capacity, God. Let us be able to walk so close with you that we can feel you, God 
We can hear you the moment you say something, God. Let us have your ears, your mind, and your eyes. Thank you for what you're going to do. And we are expectant with expectant hearts, God. We are walking in heavenly places because we are filled with heaven, God. So every place we step into, every place of darkness is going to be just absolutely lit up with the glory of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.